Hi, Nina. It's good to see you. Uh, it's been a long time we last met. Yeah, m more than a year. Yes. So first and foremost, what was your city's Skidam's motivation to join Tech Revolution? Yeah, so uh, Tech Revolution, it was an accelerator of our existing efforts on the topic of digitalization. Uh, and the program connected very well to our um, road to the next economy, as we call it, and our uh, economic policy already in place. Um, so before we joined TechRep, we were, we were already taking action uh, in the area of digitalization um, because we realized it's one of the most important sources of growth, innovation and entrepreneurship in, in the new or next economy. Um, and it's probably becoming more and more important. So we were already thinking about, well, all those things that we talked about in the program, um, digital infrastructure being a basic criteria for innovation, uh, how important it is as a municipality to provide digital services and digital business support um, and also the shift in the job market of of the skills required becoming more and more digitally oriented and tech revolution provided us with the opportunity to share and learn with other cities because we were not the only ones struggling with these things so um, together you can do more as one and that's that's why we joined TechRev because we thought so many cities are are doing the same things. I'm sure we can learn lots from each other. Okay, that's great. And uh, what do you consider the, your most important results uh, of your city's uh, journey, Tech Revolution journey? So, what are the most important results for Skidam? Yes. So um, the good practice of our program uh, was, of course, the digital media center in, in Barnsley. And we've had our own uh, ONS building in Skidom, um, which is quite similar to Barnsley. And we really uh, learned uh, the ecosystem way of thinking to adopt that way of thinking into our own building. And uh, recently, um, there's a new development, so our building, the community in that building is becoming part of a much larger development in our business park. It's called Skidam uh, Megatronics Innovation Campus. Um, so, so that's great that we, we were able to bring that community ecosystem way of thinking, um, learn from the good practice and all the other cities into a much larger development that's happening there right now. Um, and um, something else that was very important for us was the uh, involvement of local stakeholders. Uh, and so we organized a bunch of uh, expert sessions um, where we brought in uh, local stakeholders to talk about uh, their area of expertise. And uh, we learned a lot from that. And that's also, well, I was going to say that in the fourth question, something that we want to continue doing in the future um, and that's something that that really initiated during the tech ref program and we also um, um, developed some digital tools so the landing page and the customer journey app and those came from those expert sessions so people um, told us well we really need the municipality to focus more on those digital application and business support and that's what we're starting to do now that's great and, and how interesting it is uh, that uh, you actually need a transnational project to discover your local experts and involve them better. So really interesting story. Okay, yeah. so you mentioned yourself that uh, you are not alone in the digital transition process. Probably lots of uh, cities, towns, local authorities in Europe are now trying to, to embark on a digital transition journey. So what would you, what would be your advice for, for other cities embarking on such a journey? Well, I think, um, like I mentioned before, we were already uh, taking action on our digital transition journey. So we didn't start from scratch. So I think before you embark on a journey like Tech Revolution, it's important that it strengthens what you've already been doing. Because another uh, piece of advice that I would like to give them is, um, commitment from politicians and management is essential because you can learn uh, from other cities as much as you want and take it back to your organization. But if 
if there's no support from from management or politicians, uh, it's not going anywhere. You probably won't have financial support, etc. So it, it should have some sort of match with what you're already doing. Um, and then also, because um, like you just mentioned, it's it's funny that we had to go European to find out that we have so much knowledge in our local area from the local stakeholders. So really make use of, of the people that you have around. Thanks, Nina. And uh, last but not least, now, unfortunately, tech revolution, our tech revolution journey is coming to an end. Uh, what's next for Skida? Uh, what are your plans for the future? Yeah, so um, maybe it's nice to announce that we will be taking part in another Urbex program, which is the Urbex Global Goals program. Um, and um, some of the global goals, like the global goal number nine, industry, innovation and infrastructure, it corresponds very much with what have been, we've been doing in Tech Revolution. So I'm sure that our participation in that program will also strengthen what we've been doing um, in Tech Revolution. During the pandemic, the urgency of digitalization also presented itself in different ways. So for example, during the lockdown, um, many shops had to close and only shops that had, um, for example, a web shop or entrepreneurs that knew about digitalization or ways to digitalize their business, they were able to survive. Um, so that really made us think with think within the municipality, it's very important for local business owners and entrepreneurs to also digitalize. So currently we're um, working on a project where um, uh, business owners and entrepreneurs um, get connected to a team of students. The students will work out a plan how to digitalize their business. And uh, after that, the um, business owners, they can apply for funds at the municipality to purchase the tools needed for um, the digital services, like for example, um, designing a web shop, to name the, the easiest example. Um, and of course, a lot of the um, things that I just talked about, like the development um, of the ONS building um, as part of the larger Megatronics Innovation Campus, it is just starting. Um, so we have lots of work to do. Um, and we're not there yet, <laughs> but but we're going to continue doing that. And and Tech Revolution has been a great initiator and accelerator of that. Um, and import, another important topic uh, is, of course, um, the labor market, digital skills, um, how things like digitalization and uh, robots are expected to change the job market and how are we going to um, well, what are we going to do as a municipality, as a city, to um, well mitigate what what uh, might change, um, what's yet to come? Uh, another very concrete thing that we have to do is improve the digital skills of our uh, people within our organization because they're um, not where they're supposed to be yet. Um, and then, of course, the further development of the digital tools like the um, uh, that I mentioned that came out of the stakeholder uh, sessions. So yes, uh, there seems to be a lot to do. It's probably not the end of the journey, more like a start of a longer journey. Uh, and it was great uh, to travel together, at least at the beginning. And I hope in the future we will have the opportunity to check each other's progress from time to time and uh, maybe at some point to also make up for the uh, for the last meeting which was supposed to supposed to be in Skidam but uh, didn't happen because of the pandemic thank you very much nina for your time and thank you very much for sharing your experience thank you.